God bless you. Please, I want to encourage us, especially to our papas in the house. I mean, the fathers in the house, the great husband, God will continue to bless you, to function, and you know, take up your duties as the husband, as the head of the home. God bless you. So, please, um, I want to say that try as much as you can as the father of the house, you know, as the head of the home, as a husband to your wife, to be an, an encouraging husband. What do I mean by that? To be an encouraging husband is that, God forbid, or let's say, for example, you are not working at present. I mean, there is no financial support you are bringing home, and it's not merely your fault you have tried, and nothing you are able to lay your hands on. Or perhaps you were once working, then you happen to lost your job, which can happen to anyone, you know. So, but what I'm uh, um, uh, saying here is that, okay, you stay at home virtually all day, and um, you have gone to five applications that you have not been called. Um, but here is your wife that is up and doing, seeing to it that the financial needs of the home is being met. Please, I want to encourage you, and I want to plead that while your wife is away, you know, trying to get finance, perhaps she's working on little business. So that the financial needs can be met in the home. Please, while she's away, try to see what you can do. I mean, see to the day to day, you know, taking care of the kids, for example, do the school run, take the children to school, bring see to it that they come back home, see to their welfare, you know, maybe also maybe you don't have a house made, then they are clean up. Also, if try to prepare the meals before your wife comes back. You know, even I mean the house trust. See how you can be of fair maybe to empty the uh, waste bin and on and on like that. You know, the house trust that you know it never ends. Just on and on like this. Why am I saying this? Is that not take it as if you know is a let down. But come to think of it, is your family we are talking about here. We're not even asking you to be of assistance to another person. Is your family you are talking about, and in as much as you are doing for your family, you as well doing it for yourself. You know, so we not like leave all the workload for the woman. You know, a woman that has been hurt all day, only for her to come back home and meet that the home is totally messed up. Only for her to come home and see that the children they are unkept. Only for the husband to just be holding the remote for one stage, sit down in you know, in the living room or in the what is it called, in the kitchen or where maybe in the room, and then the 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 um. As, uh, the, uh, what uh, I mean, the uh, the remote, handling the remote, and be changing the TV from one uh, TV station uh, to another, or some just spend all the days on social media, or some to just be on phone calling one friend after the other. At the end of the day, things that need to be attended to in the home is not being attended to. You don't expect such a woman to come and meet such, you know setting in the home and be happy no there's no way she will be happy and if i told you yes some things that she not a believer is she not born again she you know she somehow she she's you know not reacting well please let's get this clear we are still human yes we are spiritual we are human no matter how born again that person is yes she might tolerate it for a while but after a while she will fed up we are human don't forget in our veins still runs the you know the, the uh, blood, human blood, she still flesh and blood. There's still the human side of her. So that we we'll not see that if you know the woman has become rebellious. No, because when you are doing like that, in that my, my, uh, that home, the home has become titted. What do I mean by that? The home is now experiencing you know, a slant position. Because you know what is slantness is that things are not properly balanced. Balance is like this. And you know anything that is titted can fall at any time. We know you the best result. So when you see your wife now misbehaving, that is it shows that there are things that are wrong that need to be fixed. But if maybe for for example you are covering up that space for her, I think that was she is a woman of understanding. She will give you the due respect. Also, I hear some say that well, you know, I am a traditional man. I am a traditional man. I'm the African man. No, no, no. I can never enter the kitchen. Well, I don't know what for what for what reason the woman will look down on me this and that. No. Yes, you're a traditional man. Yes, but that does not, you helping your home, that does not stop you, the respect that your wife is supposed to accord to you. 
don't forget that you know this with due respect but don't forget also that being a traditional man would not pay the bees yes don't forget that as small or as minor as these things are the food you are eating she's she said to eat that the, the kids eat she's the one that provides the uh, the water you use in bathing she's in charge of those bees that is in pay even the television you are watching that the remote is being pressed here and there she is the one that comes to pay the bees so at the end of the day you expect her to come and also sit on the house chores ah please put yourself in her shoes put yourself in her shoes so please i believe our home can be heaven on earth if we do what we're supposed to do i will not forget also here like showing an example to our children that if we should handle things where in future they grow up and leave their home, they experience such challenges. They remember and say, ah, when daddy experienced such challenges and mommy was up and doing, now my wife is up and doing. And I said, let me see how daddy handled it. And we, you know, we had a happy home. Also, let me handle it with that same wisdom. You see, most people today, most men today may be living in their marital home. Why? Because that was how, sorry to say, Daddy misbehave and they learned it from that. So let's give a, a proper foundation for our children. When we are doing this, we are not only helping ourselves, we are helping these children also. God will help us. And please let's be prayerful. That even if you are, your wife is the one that is into the you no know, becoming uh, the breadwinner of the family, let it be for a moment. That it will not linger for so long. So that is why we have to be prayerful as the man or as the woman. Because it's not so, so, so much a good thing whereby the woman becomes the breadwoman, the breadwinner of the home. No, the man is meant to be the breadwinner. So that things can be in the proper order. So as I said, if it happens that it's on the other way around, let it be for a moment. And God will help us.